First of all, you have to know how your audience is going to be or the audience, your target audience. It's like, okay, it's somebody that it's working. Uh, it's somebody that it's not working. Maybe it's looking for a job. Maybe it's someone who want to be an entrepreneur. You have to know that. So you can know uh, the, you know, how long it has to be and how often you have to publish it. That's, that's the first thing. I mean, uh, it's not the same, you know, if it's a daily podcast than a weekly or a monthly podcast. You have to know how they are. And then create a daily, for me, in, the, in, in my case, I, as I told you, that was like, uh, you know, a uh, no-brainer. It was a daily high-value content podcast. It's not like every time, see, uh, Liam, every time that I record the podcast, I listen to that podcast, of course, because I check maybe if there is something that I can edit. But then it's uh, the question that I always ask to myself is, am I giving highly value content or it just I'm just rambling for 20 minutes? And because they, you know, my audience is going to listen this for 20, uh, for 20 minutes daily. And the cost of opportunity for them to be doing something else, listening something else, learning something else, it's huge. So it's like, really, this, I'm I giving in every single, and it has been four years, I have more than 20,000, you know, uh, listeners now in my podcast. It's, it's huge. Um, I ask myself this same question. Am I giving high value content? If, it's, if I am not, because I'm not happy with that, I just start from scratch. It's like, okay, delete this episode and I start uh, another one with more highly valued content, of course, related to my audience, okay? okay. In this case, uh, how to start and run a, an online business.